gentlemen, boys and girls, we're sure you can't wait to enjoy your holiday. But to help give everyone a bit of space, you'll leave the plane row by row. You must stay seated and buckled up with your face mask on until we ask your row to stand up and leave. Just to let you know, you're not allowed to smoke or vape on the way to the terminal or in the terminal itself. Before you go, please make sure you've got everything with you. And take care when you open the overhead lockers as some things may have moved during the flight. Could you remove it at passport control? Good evening, people. We're back at the bar, uh, at the hotel, hotel, Burgers, Bermudas, or something. Lovely place. The rooms are awesome. All had a, had a few beers, had a bit drinking all day actually. So uh, this is my one. We're palming over, so we wanted to down the seafront. One of my favourite sports bar. A few drinks, big screen, watch the sport, football. So as you'll come on, let's go back to the hotel. Because obviously it's all inclusive, so you got a free bar. It's fantastic here, the hotel's clean as you like. That's the same, all inclusive, all the drinks are free. I'm gonna go and ask a guy to play. I'm gonna ask him to play. Not one of my all favourite tracks, a track that's come to my, my mind recently. It's from the old days, it's uh, the whole of the moon. What a shoot. When I say play, he's going to um, look up his phone basically. And just press a button, put it for the ambulance. It's a hard job, someone's going to do it. Okay, it's their first day, man, if you do some for me. I think there was a bit of entertainment last night, but no, there's no entertainment. It's Friday night, there's no entertainment. We're down at Palmer Nova Beach today. Um, what happened was we had a, a bit too much string last night, and plus the travelling. Uh, we both overslept till um, 11 o'clock, believe it or not. So down the beach, we've hired a, an umbrella and two chairs, four quid, which is not bad, four quid each approximately, so that's 12 quid for the day. The pool was a bit busy as well, some beds are sort of pretty busy down the pool, you know what it's like. Um, sadly, in, these places, a lot of, uh, because of COVID now, a lot of hotels are shut, quite a few hotels are shut down, which makes the existing hotels that are open uh, quite busy. But um, oh, it's nice down here. This is, it's hot in this wall. Oh, this wall's cold. Oh. Um, gonna put the camera under water in a minute, I'll give it a little go. I've never done it before. Let's just spin the camera and I'll show you the boats we've got down here at the moment. So oh, there's the Hotel Globe, uh, Global's Hotel over there, which is a lot of sport in. So. Oh, that is cold. Gorgeous. Spin it around. Oh. I've just, I've just spotted some little fish. So I'm going to put the camera under, see if I can film. I've never put this camera underwater before, so um, let's give it a go.
they put a camera underwater film some little fishes there. I don't know if you saw them. Well, I had a look when I see the footage. So yeah, meant to be, these GoPro 9s are meant to be a walkthrough. So this, oh, it's actually bloody gorgeous in here. Oh, oh, it's lovely. It is, oh, up to my neck. I think I'll go and take the sunglasses off and uh, I think I'll get in. Because there's two of us, we're not sure whether it'll be, um, it's safe to leave the, go on, get that bit depth. It drops away quick. Not my hand is. The beach dropped away from me. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit awkward when you're holding a camera in your hand. Um, I'm going to go back, take the sunglasses off, I think I'm going to come out for a little swim. It's absolutely lovely, isn't it? I love the sea water. This is gorgeous. Let me take, do another little shot of the fish. I can see some more fish here. I can see them flicking in the sun. I'm not sure if you're going to get them. Right, here we go. Where are they? There they are. Still recording, I'll just check if it's still recording. Oh, oh, I don't know. I better run. Um, yeah, I better go and take the sun off. I'm going to have a swim. I think it's swim. Check out this footage. Hopefully, this GoPro Hero 9. This GoPro Hero 9 won't let me down. His son's took his other one to Bahamas. And he's sent awesome, awesome underwater field footage. Um, I'm not sure I'll share that with you on this little video. But, uh, I'm going to head back now and just take the sunglasses off. I think I'll come back out.
you go for a mound in there, so I'm going to I'll extend the amount out so you can feel me right close to the fish of the lid up. See if I can find some fish days. Have a little look where I Oh! Right. Oh, little buggers. Before I come up with the idea of using my GoPro with long arm and filming the fish up close. That's how funny that is, isn't it? What's that? In the Johnny Boy tradition, I might have to ask Billy Hack to get my head getting burned. Stupidly, at the moment, I've not got any time for that. I've still got a bit of a headache from last night, to be honest. I don't tell anyone. I'm from the Walden Pieces. We slowed down by breakfast this morning. Because um, we missed breakfast, like I said earlier. So let's go and play the one. Might need to stop pulling the slope now. Right, where the fish? Where the little buggers? Jesus, that's all wrong. That's it, lovely. Right, I certainly like the toilet, but <laughs> I've just popped to the uh, local bar for a beer break and I'm trying out my new um, handle, battery's flat, 2%, I don't have got a battery in me. Cheers. Back at the room tonight, I've been doing quite a lot of the other video. Tonight is um, football, England v Andorra. They're not showing it in the bar, so we've got to find a um, we've got to find a little sports bar, which is showing it, which is a bit of a shame. I might have a beer. So I'm going to wander along the front somewhere in Mallorca, find a bar that's showing a football, and watch a game, and then go and get something to eat. We've ended up in a curry house. Although we're all inclusive, we chicken, chicken madras, mushroom bars, good last night, but after watching the football, we know it's wrong, but we've got to do it. My photograph? Yeah, mate. Oh, it's all on you. He don't want his photo. Oh, here he did. Come on. Are you illegal? No. Anyone else? That's lovely. Well, Thank you. Low rise. I don't know where to give you a nine head now. Oh. We've watched the football in uh, Reflex nightclub, and over, England, Andorra, 4-0. And we've ended up in the curry house opposite. Well, they were all inclusive at that hotel. Uh, <laughs> this curry house, if you're interested, is called Madras or something. And it's bloody lovely. Bloody lovely. Morning people, I don't know what day it is, don't think, oh, it's Monday, I'm shattered. Um, football was on last night, England and Dora, so they didn't show it in the hotel, just only a Spanish channel, so we snuck off down to um, a sports bar, watched the football and then uh, had a few drinks and ended up in a bloody curry house, as you do in Spain, so. Jill's just gone down to put some towels, you've got, a lot of hotels are closed down, the, hotel, the hotels that are open, I'm, uh, are busy, but the uh, sun's come up now. You forget your ear was abroad until you wake up and come back. I mean, it's two years we've had this COVID, so the sun's just coming up now. Eight o'clock in the morning, I think. I have a little outside look. Lovely. <coughs>
Yep, so it's Paul Day again today. Oh, I'm a bit shy. I need a drink of water. Paul Day again today, I think. Chill out, my Paul. A few beers, relax today. Might get down to the beach tomorrow. Go for a walk today, get some bits off in from the shops. I'll take the camera with me, do a little bit of filming. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have um, I'm gonna lay back down. Shattered. I'm free, I'm escaping the hotel grounds. Um go for a walk up the shops if I can get some crisps or something. This is the hotel, let me spin the camera around. Lovely place actually. pool over here on the right just yeah well worth a visit nice place so go for a little walk I think to see if we can find some shops so go back to one of the hotels that we've been at before so you come out the hotel turn right if you come out the front gate turn right and then the sea the beach is down there to the right but I'm not going that way I'm going left up here I no, used to go to, um, we stayed at a couple of hotels there before, so we're going to shoot up there, see if they're just going to wander up there for a little walk, see if the hotels are open or closed. Global's Hotel, that looks cool. knack of the weather, ain't going far. This hotel behind me, the lively hotel, over my shoulder, see that, the lively. That's been shut. That's been shut for years. That was the one that was on TV. I think our old hotel was just behind, up in front of us. Behind the camera. Or was it that Panama one there? I can't remember. I'm not sure. Oh, school is fine there. I'm not going to walk much further, I don't think it's going to be bloody hot. Thinking about it, the shop, the hotel we stayed in before, we used to go out the back door to the, um, to the shops. I must say one thing, there's cash machines everywhere. I've seen five ATMs. This is a short little walk. What hotel is this? Yeah, some of these hotels look dead, I think they're all shut. Sports bar in front of us, Cafe Royal Sports Bar. That's closed. Nice bar here behind me, O'Neill's Irish Bar. But that's all shut, by the looks of it. It's got some scan codes on the front, so it looks like it's been under some signs. So it has been out for COVID at some, in the lockdown at some stage. But so. A lot of these places belong to hotels. If the hotels are closing at the same time, then the bars are going to close, aren't they? Right, well, I'll turn back now. I'm lost. Cool. Midday sun. Have a look at this bar here. Look. That's a nice bar there. Look. Whiskey Bell. It's all shut. And it's about 12 o'clock at the moment, so. Uh, Trying to spot the whiskey barrel at the moment. There's another whiskey barrel here, look. A tabletop, wasn't it? That's a nice clean barrel there. Well, they've got scan things on them, so they must be open at some stage. Well, that's all locked up at the moment. Yeah, I'm not going to go too far. You can easily get lost around here. And uh, we've done that before, wandered around places like this and got bloody lost. And, uh, the heat soon catches up with you. Right, just popping in the shop now, so I'd better uh, put my mask on. I'll get some crisps, I think. Little gift shop. Let's have a little look. Like, little, little update, people. We're back at the hotel. Um, well, I'm back at the hotel. I've had too much sun today, so I'll come back a bit early, have a bit of a rest. We're off out tonight, which is good. 
you're going to hit my favourite steak restaurant along Mallorca, along the seafront. Um, lovely, cook it nice and fresh in front of you. So we're going to treat ourselves tonight going out there. I meant to take the camera with me, but I forgot earlier. Um, the battery ran out, sorry. We've had a COVID test today, we had to book it in. So if you're in Spain, you have to book a test or do one in your hotel, but we book one up on the app. If you ask behind the bars or the hotels, they've all got the little leaflets, there's clinics scattered about. Where we are, we're literally outside the front door, turn left and it's just over the road, five minute walk, straight in and out. Downside is the nurse, well, she didn't put the thing down your throat, she put it up your nose, and did she put it up your nose? I did not know that thing I got up my nose so far. Bloody God, I was nearly, gonna, I was nearly push her away. This young girl, she's going bang, 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 bang. Anyway, come back negative. They give you a little QR code scan and all that, and come back on your phone negative. We've got a um, an email thing. I think we're going to print or download the PDF. We download the PDF, so download the PDF pair of us. So we're both negative. You have that. You do that 72 hours before you fly back home. So we've got proof to fly now. So that's all right. So that's negative. That's done. Another 30 quid each. Uh, and then we're off out tonight. So as I say, for a steak, a nice steak, and, and I think we're going to the beach. Myself, I'll take the camera out with me tonight and do, do some shots along the seafront and. Uh, with meal and all that, if you're interested. And then later on, I think tomorrow, we're going down, I think we're going to have a bit of rest in the morning. We're not rushing up, we're going to have a chill out day and we're going to go down to the beach again. As I said before in my video, I think I told you before, it's lovely down the beach. I think the umbrella was four quid, a bed's four quid, so four, 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 two beds and an umbrella, that'll be for 12 quid, roughly 12 euros well, for the whole day. And the water's lovely down there, we'll probably get some lunch down there as well. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's the update on the holiday so far. Thank you for watching so far. Remember, please like, subscribe, whatever. I'll catch you later on with some other clips and bits and bobs of the food cooking. Anyway, actually, I'm, I'm a bit hungry. I could do with some food. That's one mummy. I could do with some food now, to be honest with you. But I've just looked out about when Jill's, Jill's uh, still sunbathing out there, enjoying herself, catching some last minute rays, I think. I've had enough today. I do, mate. Been out all day. I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, tell her.